though. You're lying about legal action. Y'all did not press no fucking charges. Here's the thing. Why were there no... He didn't press no charges. Why were there no police calling The bitch ain't No, it's not even that. The bitch ain't had nothing on his face. She said, if I win, Why did he show his... Why didn't he I show his face? You, you Girl, Krishan Rock said she didn't lay hands on James Wright Chanel because if she had, he would have shown his bruised face. She actually said that they are all lying because Tamar Braxton's tour is a flop and she needs all the clout she can get. Man, they need that for their career. It's not cool. Because they don't have one. The shade, y'all. The shade. Anyway, let's get right into this mess and figure out who's lying and who's not, and whether or not Krishan Rock was set up. Now, as you may have seen from videos that made rounds during Tamar's performance, Rock walked around the stage, ad-libbing words into a microphone as Tamar Braxton performed Love and War. Honestly, I don't know what Tamar was thinking when she invited Krishan on stage when she was clearly intoxicated. And that was obviously not Krishan's demo, but it was a disaster. Krishan Rock was also seen with Tony Braxton and Tamar Braxton as she attempted to twerk afterwards. And the look on Tony's face just says it all. But that wasn't even the highlight of the show because allegedly backstage things got really out of hand when Krishan attacked James Wright, leaving him with a bloody nose and a chipped tooth. But Krishan hopped on a live the next day and defended herself, saying there were false narratives being put across about attacking James. And then she she tweeted that she was deactivating all of her social media pages and changing her phone number and her address. Well, Krishan did get a lot of support from her fans because something is off about this story because James did not show his injuries. They actually said that just like Krishan said, it's possible that Tamar was indeed using Krishan for clout because not many people were checking for Tamar's tour and the blogs didn't really pick it up until this incident, which apparently says a lot. Well, let's be real, Tamar's influence isn't the same as it was when Braxton Family Values was airing, so she could also be jumping on this because she does need the clout. People are also basing her claims on the fact that James Wright also responded in a video and did not show his face. Let me just tell y'all this, because everybody want to tell stories and tell their versions, and they side of the stories and blah, blah, blah. Child, I was an innocent bystander. <laughs> Note that James didn't necessarily say that he was attacked by Krishan, but in another video where he also didn't show his face, James said that he was attacked for no reason. I just want y'all to stop thinking that everybody's mine. Um, yes, this happened to me, and everybody keeps asking what's the reason. This happened to me for no reason. <clears throat> I was attacked for no reason. And they keep telling me don't get on live, but no. In addition, Tamar's team insisted that it happened. And a member of the team, Latroy Davis, said Rock arrived at the venue drunk with 1,000 people smelling like pot expecting to perform when she was not scheduled. So she was mad that she didn't get to perform. I, I didn't know she was a performer. And even if I did know she was a performer, she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to make. So she caught, first of all, y'all see the video. She was up there, a drunk fool. LaTroy also said that Rock got into an argument with James backstage about not performing and then struck him in the face, leaving him bloody with a chipped tooth. And he reportedly had to seek medical attention to stop the bleeding. Well, guess what? LaTroy said that he has every intention of making sure that Krishan goes to jail for attacking James. In a since deleted Instagram post, LaTroy wrote, I just want to let y'all know that that girl Krishan y'all keep hyping up a to James Wright Chanel at Tamar's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison. She is trash and that's why her life is the way that it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. Honestly, for someone who wasn't attacked, LaTroy seemed really angry and heated. Well, when some people started questioning exactly what happened because things weren't adding up and why there was no police involvement, Tamar's tour manager insisted that Krishan actually attacked James. But when he tried to talk to the security at Novo, things became a little complicated. There were 28 security guards in that building that day from the Novo security team, 28. I went to the head of security at Novo and I asked them, I said, I need somebody to get up here right now. Somebody has just been assaulted. They asked me questions. They said, who? I said, James. 
I said, can you call the police? You know what Novo told me? Novo said they cannot call the police. I had to call the police. According to the tour manager, the police arrived at the place over two hours later, and they did take a report, but no arrest was made. Let's just say that to some people, it's still not believable that Krishan attacked James. For starters, Krishan is too small to have done so much damage to a person the size of James. Then there have also been claims that Krishan was set up, and there are actually receipts proving that Latroy has never liked Krishan. For instance, there's a tweet where Latroy was like, Krishan the type of person to say she took a DNA test and did it on herself and not the baby daddy. There's also another one where he wrote about Krishan saying she hoped she would be pregnant with triplets because that's how many babies she got rid of. And another one where he was like, I'd rather see Big Groove dancing down my timeline getting endorsements than Krishan popping her tooth off every other business day. See how it's easy for some to believe that it was all a setup and a vendetta against Krishan? For someone who claimed that they didn't know Krishan, Latroy sure does talk about her a lot, and it's these kinds of things that made some people believe that this entire drama was literally a setup. But then again, it's Krishan. Honey, we've already established that this girl is capable of a lot. I mean, isn't Krishan the same person who had her sister Vicky jumped? Isn't she the same person who was accused of punching her old hairstylist on a red carpet? And the same one who allegedly busted Blueface's head wide open? And we all saw that video of Krishan taking on both Blueface's sister and his mom. There have also been receipts in the past of how she has put her hands on so many people and it's possible she's trying to deny everything because it violates her probation and she already has a current lawsuit. In September, Krishan was sentenced to four years probation by a Craig County District Court judge for possession of a controlled substance without a tax stamp and possession with the intent to distribute. So if this actually goes to court and it is proven that she left James with a chipped tooth, Krishan will go to jail. Oh, for those who were wondering whether Tamar responded to the drama, she actually did, very tearfully, I might add. And he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. Really wish she would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Tamar also said that contrary to what people, including Krishan, may think, she wasn't trying to use Rock for clout. And I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that you know, anybody, any of us want to use you for height, for height, no, no one, I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame, they feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Tamar also said that Krishan is someone she looked at from afar as a younger sister because she too was in the spotlight at a young age. And she has empathy for Krishan and wanted to allow her to prove her growth and true character to the community and possibly even take her under her wing and help her navigate the industry and her problems. Unfortunately for everyone involved, that obviously didn't go as planned. In addition, Tamar said that she didn't invite Krishan to perform at the show, but she admitted that she did suggest Rock join in on the twerk off they do at each show as her vibe single plays. Again, I don't know who's lying here because according to Krishan and her people, she was invited to perform and the DJ even asked for her song to cue it. Well, one thing she has made clear is that she doesn't want Tamar's help because the way she sees it, Tamar used her for clout. Hunties. It doesn't look like this drama will end anytime soon because Latroy has sworn that Krishan will end up in jail and Krishan broke her social media media break to say the entire team is just trash, uh, garbage, and they are lying. So I guess we just have to wait and see how it all unfolds. But of course, the question still remains. Did they actually set Krishan up? Was Tamar hoping to get a bit of clout? Or was Krishan just acting crazy and actually deserves to go to jail? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below.